Okay, so today I'm following on from something uh, which we're going to be using a little bit in the future and that is going to be how to export and import your sectors because obviously you don't want to have to keep, create, keep controlling um, keep having to create your stations all over again so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at um, how we can import the sector, how we can export the sector, and what the command is and which we do it step by step and uh, obviously if you want to ins install a clean uh, StarMade installation uh, this is going to be very helpful for you so um, sometimes you have problems with uh, updates uh, sometimes things go wrong and often the way to fix it is a clean installation but that doesn't mean that you lose everything um, you might lose the positions of a few ships in space but you should already have those blueprinted so on we go So here we are at our home base. So here we are at the station and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a simple server command. Obviously you need to be admin to do this. And then what you can do is you can save the file to a folder in your StarMade folder um, which is called Sector Export. Okay, Sector Dash Export. You'll find them in there. It's a .smsec file. And you load that in its folder into a fresh game installation and then we'll do that in a second. For now, this is what we have to do. You note the sector that we're in. We're we're in minus one one one. It's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to type slash. And this is where I fail and put it in the wrong way round. Uh, I'm going to go with whoops exports underscore sector and then minus one 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 and then we're going to call it. Uh, MFHQ. Call it what you want. Done. Now there will be a file called MFHQ which I can use import to any sector I want. So um, just to show you this quickly, I can simply I can show you it right now. So we'll say import underscore sector and then we'll choose something like, I don't know, something which is it's got to be two systems away from any loaded system. So either leave the system you want it to be in for up to, I think, be a minute on the safe side. I think it's actually less than that. It's defined on the server how long uh, it takes to unload a sector if there's no one in it. There has to be nobody in the sector that you're going to import to or, you know, within. So I always say, I don't know, not 222 or 333. Well, actually, wait, 333. No, that's still one. Yeah, so um, uh, I'm going to try and put this somewhere close to me because I don't want it too far. So I'm going to say minus one, uh, three, one. Now I should only have to go two in one direction. I don't know if this will work. We'll see. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, and then we're just going to say MFHQ. Okay, right. So now if I take my nav and head for minus one, three, one minus one th uh, comma three comma one okay we are gonna head that direction and when we get there hopefully it should only be two sectors so it shouldn't take too long um, but when we get there we should see the exact same base as we were just looking at so Still not quite there. They're at the other station, still on the nav. So that's interesting. Okay, we're getting closer, and things are starting to pop up. Yeah, there it is. So I'll just get closer. I can say show you that. But um, that's it. And you can you can import the same sector to you know as many times as you want, and obviously you can export that sector. Well. But it's got to be um, it's, it's got to be a different name, even though I think it does overwrite it. I would I would imagine you want to use a different name. Um, another little quick tip: if you're building something and it hasn't got shields yet, and you're fed up with the pirates coming along and stomping you, as you can see here, the pirates are coming. They're just down there. So, well, unless it's a pirate base, of course. No, it's not. So we hit the nav, we select the pirate, type enter slash destroy entity. Okay, and then just go down, so no need to find them, click on another one, enter, press up, and enter. We'll do the last command again. 
click on the next one, enter, up, enter. They're gone. Any more for me? Yeah, loads more. Done. Done. Be careful though, because if you click on the wrong thing, you might accidentally delete your own ship. <laughs> so be careful with the uh, doing it quickly like that. But yeah. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys. You look into your StarMade folder, and there will be a folder that's called Sector Export. And the files are in there. So then you can take those files, and you can send them by uh, Dropbox, MediaShare, whatever you want, um, and um, just send them to the admin of the server that you're moving to and hopefully they'll be glad to sort of you know uh, upload it to their server and import it to the sector of your choice so um, and obviously it will keep all the ships that are inside the uh, sector anything that's in the sector will be saved so just bear that in mind okay um, and that's about it that's a nice short video just on importing and exporting the sectors so just to quickly go over that the commands again just once more uh, I'm gonna have to type them in again aren't I right so it's export sector and then the actual location of the station so right now we're at minus one three one and then name it name of sector Okay. Oh wait, what did I do wrong? I didn't type underscore. There we go. There. Done. Alright. And then you choose where you want to put it. And instead of export, choose import. Okay. And obviously change this to like something else. There we go for. Done. And now if we go to 3 1, we'll find another one of these stations. So, that's importing and exporting, guys. Just remember, if you don't know what the file name was, uh, have a look in the folder and type it in exactly as it is. It's case sensitive. And if you don't have a sector export folder, create one, and it is lowercase sector export. And you just put your uh, smsec files in there uh, for, for import. So for example with a clean server install you just uh, delete your uh, or rename the star made folder run the update uh, once it's installed copy all your blueprints and the sector export folder across into the into the correct places and once you've done all of that you can run the commands once you get in so I hope you found that useful thanks for watching and uh, come back soon